Today, I'll be showing you some simple tricks on how to make glowing signs in Blender. With these tricks, I was able to make many different assets ranging from text signs to signals to other LED surfaces. So stick around to find out how. Okay, so our modern world is filled with all kinds of glowing graphics. Think of digital screens at Times Square or the hundreds of bright signs at airports. When you're world building in Blender, it's useful to capture and create as many assets that imitate the real world. So for context, I've been busy making a short cinematic focusing on airports, and their signs and graphics are a very iconic part of the environment. So let's figure out some quick tricks on how we can make these in Blender. Now, you might think the easiest way to imitate this would be to bring up your image as a plane and then slap an emission shader onto it and done, right? Well, sure, this might work, but we can make these assets much more realistic. Think about it. In the real world, a lot of these signs seem to work by having some sort of white backlight that's strong enough to illuminate the graphics. Check out how in these examples, the light seems to radiate from a point and then fade out at the edges. Like how this exit sign is lit up from the top, or how this electric clock glows from a ring. Imitating this would introduce a new level of realism and imperfection where not everything is equally bright. Luckily, the idea to copy this is pretty easy to figure out in Blender. All we need to do is recreate the glowing assets as how they would work in real life. To put it simply, this means we could create a realistic casing for the display, use contrasting levels from a graphics image to determine what should be translucent and what should be solid, and finally create an emission backlight that fits right in the casing, illuminating our graphics. Now to figure out light falloffs, we could use symbol gradient nodes to create a black and white shape that controls what parts of the backlight should be brightest and lowest. Let's get into more detail on each step. Of course, the base of all these signs are the 2D graphic images such as the text, the symbols, and any usable image. You can easily use any graphics editor and type in your text or find hundreds of free icon designs and vectors online. FreePick in particular had a lot of useful free graphics for me. I made the glowing exit sign using similar concepts. I have the black and white 2D symbol, used that to make parts of the sign green and other parts more white, keeping in mind that both materials have transmission turned up to let light through from the back emission plane. Speaking of which, then I used a linear gradient setup to create an effect where the sign was mostly lit from the top. Also animated some flicker by adding a noise modifier on the emission strength. Now for this digital clock I made, I found this clock graphics image online, modeled a basic cylinder that's inserted, and put that image on. Then, I was still able to use contrasting color information from the image to make sure that the white parts stay very translucent and the black parts, like the numbers, are solid and opaque. Then of course, I had a circle emission behind it, and for this setup, I used spherical gradient nodes to create the white rings that control the brightness of the clock. And there you go, now you know the basics and tricks to add realism to your sign assets in your 3D scene. Hope this helps, consider subscribing, and on a completely random topic, if you want to know how to make a realistic Spider-Man animation easily, then click here to find out. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.